Hey, the house fixed the wall. Which means we get to see what this is actually meant to look like. Woo! Hot damn! Being the director is awesome. Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here at the top of the warehouse. In fact, that's where the Ritual Stone was. Man, it took me so goddamn long to find this. I think the thing that annoyed me the most about this, uh... Polaris? What? Oh, wow, I have completely derailed my own ser uh, video. Hey, I was gonna talk about how we're gonna ride the elevator all the way to the bottom and fight that bo- that, uh... that, uh... fucking the screaming cloaker, but, uh, this looks important. Niche position, 5 out of 10. There's nothing here. At all. It's just a control point. And I mean, I'm glad. You know, it'll make the, uh... Maybe it'll make the oldest house just a touch more stable than it used to be, having another control point on the foundation. But, uh... I'm very confused as to the purpose of that room. I honestly didn't know that was there, I just... ...suddenly realized Polaris is pointing me in that direction. Weird! But yes, uh, as I was saying. You know. I don't know, there's just something I've always found, uh, surprisingly entertaining... ...about, uh... ...riding an elevator from one extreme to the other, in one smooth motion. that hole I blew in the wall. Although I suppose I've done two of those in the first three minutes of this video, so sure. One of the holes I blew in the wall. All right, Dr. Gibbs. Oh, uh, was that the log entry I found? Fucking rejected episode. Yes! Okay, pyramids. Yeah, I'm still surprised by that. That they didn't explain anything, I mean. Oh, that's right, that's why I went here in the first place. I wanted to look at... I can never remember the name of these things for some reason. Warp to the tornado guys. Sharpen to the pickaxe guys. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Distorted. I wasn't sure, because that's honestly not very much like what they look like, but, uh... Given that they're invisible, I'll allow it. Rush button to summon boss. Oh, I hate this. Oh, right, yeah. Now I remember. Uh, why aren't you even sprinting? Why don't you fuck off? The grown ups are talking. Oh, you done fucked up now. Now you have to go charge that thing with a hammer. Oh. All right, Jeremy, we got this. She's scarier than most of the bosses we've faced, but... 
It's actually damaging. Mm. No, I don't. Ooh, that was satisfying. That was less satisfying because I almost died. But no. Crouch, crouch, you. Hey, dots. Oh! Mm, I hate that. Ah! Oh, that's how you interrupt the laser. Oh, good. I couldn't run. I couldn't think I could dash while I was like that. In this state. The dying state. Oh, fuck. I've lost track of it. Dr. Gibbs, this isn't very professional of you. And back up. Ah, oh, hell. That's not ideal at all, is it? Oh, and I forgot to use the... Mm. No, 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 I did teleport to the uh, control point near the warehouse. That's right, I might not have pressed X at it, but... At least be closer. I had forgotten that while I did teleport to the, the control point below the warehouse, I had just discovered this one, so my bad. Uh, before I go down there. Actually, you know what? I'll just put myself in the elevator before I do this. <laughs> oh, looks like I need to call it first. Yeah, this is definitely for the best. Shout out to Elthwar. With a comment here I had not really thought about before this came up. Uh, it's not the biggest thing. But since Marshall was talking through the same means as Trench did, it does suggest, you know, as, uh, that uh, when the hiss fully takes over a target, it kills them. While it's cold comfort, it does mean that people aren't trapped in their bodies for long while the hiss controls them. And I suddenly realized that I had been insisting on thinking of it that way since the very beginning of the game. Because uh, the alternative was that uh, while I was fighting these monsters that were all twisted and horrible and trying to kill me, their minds were trapped inside watching me do it. I have no mouth and I must scream. Wait, no. Oh, it's not supposed to do that. I can't see any goddamn thing at all. I do remember asking this at the time, why this elevator doesn't have lights in it. It seems to, that it's not functioning. Okay, I'll just hit the uh, control point down here, so... Mostly because I don't want to have to do the elevator every single time. Excuse me, excuse me! What did that guy hit me with before the uh, hammer guy got to me that left me on a tiny sliver of health from full? I did find it annoying how frequently the hiss were showing up as I was trying to explore this place.
But yeah, that was what was suggested to me when they did that scene at the very beginning when Jesse uh, tried to cleanse one of the floating agents and found uh, that she just dropped dead to the ground. Yeah, without the hiss resonance, there's just nothing left. Which is, I suppose, why Seize replaces the resonance with Polaris resonance, huh? Oh, God. Okay, instead of that... Wait. Yeah, right. Yes, instead of that, I will... Oh, I don't... oh fuck. I might have made a mistake with that one. Yes, here it is, per element pickup. Oh yes, I should look and see if that's better than the one I have on there. Thank you for your sacrifice, little friend. Rest in peace, Gene Gibbs. She was very clearly uh, blaming the Bureau for what happened to her and her uh, colleagues. <sighs> it's almost like that kiss barrier there was just entirely sustained by her this anger. This looks like a nail. Only... mini. Well, it's not the right shape, but... Northmore, final warning. To Ash Jr. Just Ash Jr., not, you know, Dr. Theodore Ash Jr. Or Dr. Theodore Ash Jr., head of research. It's to Ash Jr. from Director Northmore, subject official order. From the desk of Director Northmore to Director Theodore Ash Jr., as Director of the Federal Bureau of Control and Chosen Representative Liaison Benefactor of the Greater Authority of the Board, I hate when he does that, I demand your immediate withdrawal from the Foundation. Prior memos issued broadly to Foundation staff called for swift reassignment of all personnel to the upper levels of the House. All staff complied except you. This demonstrates a lack of respect for my office and the board itself. This is their house, and we are their guests. We should conduct ourselves accordingly. Normally, such insub insubordination would be grounds for dismissal, but out of respect for your late father, consider this instead my final warning. The board and director Ash chose me as successor to the office, and no amount of petulance will change that. Indeed, your actions seem to suggest you know better than myself, and by extension, better than the board. Permit me to assure you that this is not possible. Sincerely, Director Broderick Northmore. I mean, yeah, he was a piece of shit, but I don't know that he deserved to get locked in a fucking furnace for the rest of his life. Hmm. I mean, 
Just a flat fuck you for damage. It is a shotgun, after all. Eyes. Uh, um, it was in here. Or wait, was it in here? It was the guy. The, uh, the guy who went crazy. Something Ricardo. Yeah, yeah, this one. Um, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of expecting, I don't know, some kind of unlockable, maybe? X. What am I Xing at here? A document? Is this in some kind of code? I can't read a word of it. I should take this back to Emily and tell her I got into Ash's secret lab. I was all set to joke that it was written in Klingon, and Jesse didn't recognize it because she's not a huge nerd. But, uh, Star Trek didn't start until 1966, so, uh, I don't think Ash would have been a, you know, a nerd for that. Not to mention the fact I don't think they constructed the Klingon language until Next Generation came out in 87. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been a thing then anyway. I saw a photograph of someone cosplaying as Jesse Faden. And it was such a good recreation of the asynchronous suit, and I've been playing with it so much, that it took me like 10 seconds after I stopped... ...to realize that, uh... Oh my, the guy did it again. Actually, yes, fast travel. Screw you guys. Yeah, it just took me a second to realize, wait, that's not Jesse's default outfit. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. The guy's still having an existential crisis. Or maybe someone just spoiled how the sixth sense ends. One of those. Hello, Emily. I found Ash's secret lab. Excellent. Please tell me everything. Spare no details. Uh, well, there was another cave. The walls were covered in paintings of eyeballs. Carvings. The research seemed dedicated to studying a kind of... smaller version of the nail. It looked like the same material as the one up here, but just a different shape. Well, are you sure you didn't see any functioning prototypes? Or at least some schematics? I mean, Dr. Ash was a very accomplished engineer. None. Sorry. I did find this handwritten note. Wow. I had terrible handwriting. <laughs> Never meet your heroes, right? That looks like a transcribed conversation between Ash and someone named F. Ooh. Oh, this is juicy. This will take me days to parse out. Maybe weeks. Have you ever thought about taking a vacation, Emily? Are you kidding? This is my vacation, Jesse. Don't be a stranger. Oh. Crystals, cave paintings, rust-filled sand. This place is a research gold mine. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need 30 hours of training before I can do field work. We'll work on that. Probably best not to lower that requirement, but yes. All right. Um, I guess I'll uh, head off to the other part then. Is still stuff to be done. Oh, geez, the timer is about to go, though. That's 
not ideal. Uh, that one, yeah, cave system. Okay, real quick. Yeah, this is that spot where I found the, uh, the note about the cave. The cave? The tape. The one that, uh, was of Ati. And there's a dead end down there. I found the tape over- I found the, the fucking- I found the file over there, and there was this thing. Yeah, I plugged this into this and nothing happened, and it turns out I was staring at a crystal wall the whole time. So presumably whatever I plugged in has activated something in here. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, now this is happening. Oh, the particles in here make it seem like I'm underwater. I can't see a thing. Maybe I should have thought this through. Oh, fuck. Oh. You're just sitting there. Gnarly. No light. Another TV. It's an astral copy. Yeah, okay, the mesmerizing effect, I guess. Why isn't it affecting me? Is it because I have Polaris in my head? Yeah, just mopping away. Yeah, you just keep- I don't want to move that in case he, like, gets mad at me. It's so dark. Oh, I see. to drag this thing out of here? What happens if I let them get close? That's it, that's it. Everybody just enjoy the nice, shiny janitor. This is fine, Jesse. You're okay. Just don't drop the TV. Yeah, you just hold real still, Spike. There's the door behind me. Oh. No, no. Remember, it's the tape, not the TV. Oh, God. I mean, I don't think that's the solution, but okay. Actually, I suppose I got lucky since it wasn't the, uh... The TV, given that the TV didn't break just now. Purely out of curiosity. Okay, fighting is not really an option. really annoyed if there's lore in here. 
So how the fuck am I supposed to find lore like this? Where am I meant to be going? You don't. Everybody just chill the fuck out. And we're running. Mind you, if this wasn't an object, an uh, altered item, rather, I suppose uh, it wouldn't be working now that it wasn't plugged in. Just being a big old block. TV. Ah! Just squeezing past that hurt. That's the one I shot, specifically. Oh, good. Oh. the TV because my energy was drained. So it was silly of me to try to do it all at once anyway. I'm burning dog face. And once this uh, loading screen is over, I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Control. Ah, uh, yes. We need to uh, get back in there and probably be easier when I'm not constantly stressing over the time. Get through there with the altered item. And then we've got to go say hello to A.W.E., the DLC chapter. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you are too. Later!